right. Ooh, time to unbox uh, my new battery charger uh, from Dynamite RC. I know everybody keeps asking me to do charger videos and lipo videos and whatnot. There is a ton online, but I also needed a new uh, battery charger for the studio. One that actually did more than one battery at a time and one that didn't need like a preamp or like a power supply to power it. One that would have it basically built in. And so this one is a little bit more advanced, but still simple to use. Like for the average RC user uh, that has several batteries, instead of always having to go and charge, you know, one or two at a time, it's nice to be able to do uh, several, you know what I mean? All at once, because then you can always play, take your sets of batteries with you. If you have more, throw some more on there in the LiPo bags or whatever you have for fire safe equipment and, you know, head her out. This also does, you know, LiPo life and nickel metal hydride batteries. Um, I'm actually not new to this particular product. I do have another one of these um, that I use use off-site um, and that's why I ended up getting another one. 100 watts times four. Let's open it up and have a look at what's in the box. Now, like I said, I don't usually do things like this, but I know a lot of people have asked me to over the years and it's just only so often I end up getting a new uh, charger, you know, that's even worthwhile mentioning. Um, chargers run anywhere between, you know, depending on the brand that you're getting, anywhere from, you know, $50 uh, all the way up to four, five, even a thousand dollars I've seen them at, you know, it, just like anything in life, the sky's the limit if you want to spend it. Ugh. There we go. The Profit Sport Quattro. Very nice. Doo -doo -doo. Instruction book. Hey, when you guys are working with batteries, I know a lot of the people that are uh, that are viewing my show right now are already senior hobbyists, but I also know that we have a lot of new hobbyists as well. And you, you don't have to get something so advanced, but I'll tell you, when you get to the level that you do need something advanced, when you get it, you want it to work and work well. Now, one of the bonuses that I love about this particular um, uh, battery charger, well, I'll get into it in a second, but one, two, three, four chargers, yes. But normally, you need to go out and buy separate balance plugs for your LiPo and, uh, you know, when you need a balancing plug, look at this, one, two, three, four. They already come in the bag. Yeah, right? All the different sizes for 2S, 3S, all the way up to 6S LiPo. Now, you don't need four of them, right? Like, you can, you can just charge one and then, you know, just... But if you're going to balance all four batteries while you're doing it, having four balance boards come with the actual charger is a big fat bonus in my opinion. But look at this, not just four balance plugs, but four charge plugs as well. Now they are all for um, basically the Horizon Hobby batteries uh, or the Dynamite batteries. You know, there's lots of different plugs you can go out and get. You can even fashion your own if you're using Ultra plugs or Traxxas connectors or whatever Tamiya connectors. Really simple. Plugs in here. Kaboop. Boop. And I'll do it with all of them just so you guys get a general idea. I know people like to see how it goes together. There we are. And done. Here's the side of it. Here's where the power plug goes in. The cooling fans on off switch. Look how pretty it is. <laughs> it's one of my favorite looking machines. Uh, and it is fairly easy to use. Some of these can be fairly intimidating. How many times can I say fairly? <laughs> uh, some of them can be intimidating. Actually, I never suggest not using the instruction book, but I can say even when I first plugged in uh, my charger when I was in a rush when I got my first one, uh, I just basically went, here, I'll plug it in for you right now. Uh, basically went in, chose the amperage that I wanted with the adjustable dial, plugged in the, uh, the balance board, and basically used the start and stop button to get everything started and stopped. Kaboom. Hello. Welcome. It's just starting itself up. 2.8 amps. 
0.3 amps, 0.1 amps, and 0.1 amps. This all changes with the selection of the dial, right? Oh, you can see it like that. So really simple. That's what I like about units like this, when they can put out high power and they're simple to use. Here's a balance board. I want to make sure I do this properly. Yeah, not really a review, just showing you kind of like what I use. No, never really been into doing reviews. Uh, all products have their ups and downs for me, you know, but once I finally find a product I like, I don't mind showing it off to you guys. Look at this. It's a rainbow of battery balancing. <laughs> so you can see it kind of like that it's not resting on it just looks like it is here is a 2s lipo i have two cell lithium polymer uh gen zace lipo has a built-in balance plug right on it right there so i'm just going to switch over to my ultra plugs or some people know them as dean's plugs plug this fella in right there now there's a switch here, nickel metal, lipo, or life battery. I'm just going to switch it to lipo. Pretty simple, straightforward. And plug in the 2S uh, lead into the 2S plug on the balance board, just like that. For this one, I'm going to want to charge it at 4 amps. There, that's how easy it is to select. And start holding it. Lipo checking, yes. Two cell, yes. And I believe, away we go. When it's flashing like that, I believe it's a charge. Well, there we go. One milliamp hour added. So it's just that easy. Uh, and you can see as the dial starts to go up that the battery is charging. So you can run all four charging at once and you can go out and play and have fun, come back, give it a quick charge and go again. So there, I can go into some more technical stuff about this uh, later on, but I just wanted to do something quick for you guys so you had an idea of what I used. Uh, you'll see more of these chargers around because it's just kind of replacing my, like I was saying, like when I have a preamp or a power supply and I have to carry that with my other charger, it's just simple, grab this one and go. Okay, guys, see you later. Hope you enjoyed the video.